Hey, everyone, it's Joe again, and I just want to say this uh, because it's a little bit about me and about how my YouTube channel is and where I'm standing at right now and my feelings about certain games. And I feel like I've tried getting this across in other videos, but it just hasn't worked. So maybe I'll just make a video speaking straight about it, and uh, maybe then people will help, you know, this will help people understand where I'm coming from. So this is not scripted. This is me just talking from how I am and I'll try to make this video slightly interesting by putting photos and stuff up but uh, we'll really see how this goes. So because this is completely off the cuff, unscripted and I just hit record and here I go. So I, I have been playing videos for a very 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 long time. Uh, I, I picked up my first video game when I was four years old, it was, I was playing, and some people might not even consider this a real video game. I was playing on the, I think it was called the Sega Pico, and one of my, one of my first games playing was this game about, um, like, bears? Like, it was, a, I think it was an old cartoon or something that got turned in. To a video game, there's like bears and like a talking worm, and I can't remember what the name of the game is. I'm sure I found a photo of it though somewhere to show you guys. And this is the first game I ever played. I was four years old, and then I played Echo the Dolphin also on the Sega Pico. And these are my first two games I ever played in my entire life, and I loved it. And I have been hooked on video games ever since. Since then, I played the original Nintendo, the SNES, the Sega Genesis, uh, then I moved up to the Nintendo 64, then the PlayStation, then the PlayStation 2, then the Xbox, then the Xbox 360. Um, I did end up getting a PlayStation 3, but I didn't really play it that much because that's when I was finally converting over to PC games. Now... Uh, as you may have noticed, I named mostly consoles, and I did get a handheld console when I was younger. I got a Game Boy, the original brick Game Boy, where I think I only had, like, Tetris, and I, I don't remember what other game, I didn't really like it, um, and it was quickly, I guess I was spoiled a little bit, especially when I was younger, um, but we, I had brothers and sisters too, so I had to share. So it was like one console for everyone. It wasn't like it was mine. Um, but I did get my own Game Boy Color with Pokemon Yellow. Uh, actually, Pokemon Blue. Sorry, I had Pokemon Blue first, Pokemon Yellow later. Um, and I love Pokemon Blue, and I love Pokemon Yellow even more. And, oh my god, Yellow was probably my favorite. And then I got Pokemon Silver, and I loved it. And I didn't get many more games because besides Pokemon, I almost never played any other game. Now, I did get, like, um, I think it was Game Boy Snap or Picture or something like that. And I got a Looney Tunes game. Um, now, I'm telling you my history for a reason. My history of video games for a reason. Uh, to, one, to imply just how long I've been playing video games. 23 years, basically. 23 years I've been playing video games. Uh, I was almost 24 years, because I'm going to be turning 28 very soon. Um, but also to admit kind of a bias that I have. Now, I have, be I have played not only tons of console games, but I've played tons of computer games as well, especially... Uh, especially now after my transition to a as, a as a PC gamer, but also before I played tons and tons of online games from Newgrounds and, and E-bombs and other websites, and I've played uh, other handheld games. Uh, I didn't, and here's one of the things that I, I gotta say, I didn't like handheld games. I just didn't. I just didn't like handheld games. I wanted a game where I could sit down in front of a TV with my controller and I could get into, I could get super into, and I could just play for hours and hours and hours. I remember my Halo days. Uh, this is back when I was like still in high school, and I would come home, and because my, especially my junior and senior year were so simple for me, 
because I had like no work to do because I worked so hard my freshman and sophomore year to get get through all my credits that basically my junior and senior year where I had like two or three credits that I needed to get each year and the rest were electives that I didn't care about and were super easy classes, I would come home and I'd have no homework and I'd just sit down and I'd play Halo 2. Or no, Halo 3. Yeah, Halo 3 I think it was. Um... Yes, definitely Halo 3, now that I remember it. So, and I would just come home, and I would, I would, I would get home at like 5.30, and I'd just play until like midnight, and I wouldn't stop. Just the entire time, midnight, go to bed, wake up, be drowsy through school. Now, don't follow my example, but this was what I did for a year and a half, for so long. And, and, and I loved it. I played so, the game so much, and I loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. I did eventually play some other games. I got stuck. I got hooked into the Maple Story for a while, and I got hooked into Fantasy Star for a while. But anyway, that's besides the point. Um, because I say this because uh, mobile games, you couldn't. I couldn't do that. I couldn't do that at all. I uh, when I played a mobile game, I could play for like maybe, I think with my Game Boy, three hours, I think max. With my Game Boy. And it would die. And I had to wait. And I had to charge it for four or five hours. And then I could play it again for another three. And I didn't like that. And uh, basically what would happen is I would set it down and let it charge. And I'd forget about it. Because I'm playing another game. Um, And on top of that. The games that I was playing on the consoles. I enjoyed so much more. Like I was like. Okay do I want to. Um. Do I want to go and collect the 148th Pokemon? Do I want to go and search and hunt for that? Or do I want to grind for hour after hour after hour after hour to level up this one Pokemon so that I can um, get it to evolve so I can get the next one? Do I need? Do I want to go and buy a link cable? Because, yeah, this is link cable days. Do I want to buy a link cable and find someone who owns... Uh, who, who I trust, that I can trade my cadaver with so they can get the Alakazam, so they can trade it back to me. Um, which, thankfully, was... I had to... Basically, what I did was I had to steal my brother's because he had one, and I had to trade with him while he was sleeping and then trade it back so I could get Alakazam. Uh, I think, if I remember... I could be wrong, but mem- my memory could be wrong. Maybe that's not how you did it, but I'm pretty sure that's how you did it. <laughs> anyway... So, because of this, I have, I have grown a bias for mobile gaming. Uh, and, actually, games from websites. Because they never, in my opinion, never, even, even still to this day, never compare to console gamings. Ever. I mean, I just, in, in, my, in my head... 98% maybe of console games are better than 100% of mobile games or games you can find on the computer. So, like, I mean, find on websites uh, for free. So games like Hitman, um, Resident Evil 7, Skyrim, Grand Theft Auto, um, Dishonored, Dishonored 2... Uh, South Park, The Stick of Truth, uh, Amnesia of the Dark Descent that I've already played, Quantum Conundrum that I've already played, um, all these games are going to be much, 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 much better than anything I can find online. They're going to be, it's, it, they, and I admit, this is my, my opinion, you may disagree, but I think they are better than Miskrits, better than Cybermon, better than Ninja Saga. And not just a little better, I mean, like, on an entirely different scale better. In fact, this is a kind of a graph that I made to kind of um, show you where I think, like, the fun level is of games. And I know this really isn't an accurate bar graph, but this is my idea, basically... Of like the the fun level that I have for website games, mobile games, and console games. 
it's it's just a huge difference, and um, it's just this is just my opinion, but it's an opinion that I've grown up with, and it's and it's a bias I know that it is. Um, so it's it's where I get really confused where I'm like, hey, what do you guys? Want? I, I was like, I, I recently I was, and I still am planning on doing this. I own Mafia Three. Mafia Three uh, is an old game. Uh, but it's a console game, um, and I was thinking of starting that as a new series of mine. But then I got comments like this, like, Hey, this is on my new Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video that I just posted, and they said, this should be your new series. And in my opinion, I'm wondering, well, why do you guys want a game that's way down here? That, that, that is, 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 in my opinion... Not nearly as good as the other game that I'm thinking of playing. Like, where, there's, there's a disconnect between me and my viewers. That they want me to be down here, and I want to be up here. And, and in my head, I'm like, why? Why don't you want me to be up here? This, like, this game is, 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 like, you can talk to anybody. You can talk to anybody, any person who plays video games for the majority of their life, and they'll go, you go, hey, do you think I should play uh, Myth Mafia 3? Or do you think I should play Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links? And, at least where I live, 99% of them will go, well, Mafia 3 sounds awesome. I, they, they don't even have to know what the games are. And they'll hear them and go, well, Mafia 3 sounds a lot better. Even though Duel Links is a newer game, but they can even compare the two. They go, okay, well, what do you, uh, what do you do in you your doing? Oh, it's a, it's a card game. You know, there's monsters and there's cards and there's life points and it, it's it's it can get really addicting. It's a lot of fun and uh, you you can play and you get new cards and you get you make your deck better and you make your deck stronger and then you play new cards and you get you know and you repeat. You get better cards and you get stronger and you learn more strategies and you. And it's super fun and super addicting. Okay, what's Mafia 3 about? Well, you're part of a mafia, and to be honest, I don't know what Mafia 3 is about, but this is my, this is my guess what Mafia 3 is about. Is, uh, oh, you're, you're in the mafia, and uh, you have to go and kill people, and you have guns, and you ride cars, and, uh, you know, there's, there's drama and action, and uh, it has a cohesive story, cohesive beginning, cohesive ending. Um... It's it's uh, it's three D. It's it's um, free roaming. Um, even though there's a story, there's plenty of you know. It's it's not like you're on a railroad. You know, like you can. There's different ways to do different missions and stuff like that. And then here and then go. Well, uh, the card game sounds cool and addicting, but um, Mafia Three sounds awesome, and that sounds like. It's, for for a channel, that sounds like the way you want to go. So I don't know, and it's just it's just my opinion that again, putting out the graph again. Um, uh, in my opinion, like Facebook games are here, mobile games are right here, and console games are way up here. And it 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 always confuses me when people are like, "Well, we want you to stay." down here. We need to stay at these two and and not really play these that much. And I just get confused and I feel like it could now it could just be a bias of mine. Like maybe maybe what I need to see is a is a mobile game that truly is better than a like a console game that comes out today. But I haven't seen it. I have yet to see it, and I don't know, I don't know, like, I'm just so confused, I just get so confused when, again, you are like, hey, we want you to play Biscuits, Cybermon, Ninja Saga, Cash uh, uh, um, uh, Clash of Clans, uh, Dragon Legends Mania, Mutant Genetic Gladiators, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Um, and I go, well, what about games like Dishonored and Dishonored 2 and, and Amnesia and, 
uh, South Park and Stick of Truth and uh, you know stuff like that. And he goes, you know, nah, not really. We prefer the Facebook games and the and the mobile games. And I don't know why. Like, because in my opinion, again, like I said, uh, they're so much better. The ones that I'm offering you guys are so much better. And I just don't, I don't, it, 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 it doesn't click with me. And if someone can please help me to understand, I'd really appreciate it. So anyway, this was off the cuff and all that. Thank you guys for understanding and helping me. And I want to give you guys what you guys want, but at the same time, I want to play what I want to play. And it's, it's really hard finding that middle. Um, because I want you guys to be entertained, but I, I don't want to be playing something that I don't enjoy. So, anyway, if you guys can help me out, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. Love you all. Your opinions all matter to me so much. Please, and I'm, I'm doing this because I want to hear from you. I'm saying this because I want to hear from you. So anyway, that's it. Thank you so much for listening, and I'll get you guys next time. Later.